we'll probably uh, get into this a little bit more, but we were talking to Dr. Frank Beath. Mm-hmm. Um, when was it? Yesterday. And Frank is very, 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 very openly against the vascular surgeons being part of the American Board of Surgery. He firmly believes that we should be an absolute independent specialty. What are your feelings, given that you are essentially the perfect transition of that? You're, you're, you're a mutant in many ways yeah. that has that, that, that capability. Where do you fall in yeah. that sense of do we need this completely different board that advocates? Because to your point, there is it, vascular surgeons are not well recognized. The hospitals don't necessarily understand what we do. Our resources are sometimes scarce because we're all over the hospital. I say that we're the cleaning crew because we get called when shit hits the fan and we're fixing all these other problems. And to your point, when we eventually need some work, these other guys will support us. But why is it that we're always looking and seeking for that peer support when we as an institution or as a, as a complex group of individuals with a specialty should have no necessity to go around pleading for this because we require all this thing. So what's your thoughts on the American Board of Surgery and, and vascular? Um, I worry that a complete separation, I mean, there are aspects of vascular surgery, that surgery especially if you go to the very complex endovascular uh, work, that almost feels like it's separate from general surgery, right? It's separate. It's a completely different thing. But I'm not ready to say, oh, we need a complete divorce here. Okay. You know, um, the core of what I am is, is a surgeon. I am a surgeon, and I am also a vascular surgeon. I, I don't think, at least in my case, for, for everyone that's practicing exclusively vascular surgery, I think there's still something to be said of belonging to this bigger thing, which is surgery. Okay. And that is, it's true for a lot of surgical specialties. I think the, <clears throat> the problem that we have here regarding a lack of recognition for this role, this supporting role, very critical that vascular surgeons perform, is the way the system works. The, the, the incentives in the system do not recognize this role that we play, right? Uh, there is no CPT code for coming in and saving the day, right? Yeah. Which is sometimes it would be very important. And the way reimbursement is, the way the money moves around, the way the resources are assigned is not necessarily, uh, the system is not necessarily ready to recognize this important role. There, there we should, uh, if, if we start to discuss, like, so advocacy, so what can we do to make the vascular surgeon's value more recognized. It's probably something in the system that we need to fight for so that this is recognized, objectively recognized. For example, cases that require vascular surgery that would have a different, a different category of coding, right? You were there for the fact that you were in the case already makes the case a complex case. Yeah. Modifier. Modifiers, like different, like more creatively uh, mm-hmm. designed modifiers. Or better backup codes. Sometimes you're just on backup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you'll spend that entire morning waiting for that call. And then they yeah. call you and they're like, no, it just came off, off the IVC very easy. Exactly. We don't need you. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of the and times you're, you're like, just yeah. like being available. And <laughs> yeah, being right. available is not necessarily, there's no mon- monetary mm-hmm. recognition for mm-hmm. being available. Mm-hmm. It only counts if you need to, to really show up. Right. right. And it's very different also if you join a, 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 another special team in the, in the OR in a planned way is different from joining in an acute emergent situation when things are out of control. So I think the way the uh, uh, an effective way of dealing with this problem would be to. Uh, to have a more significant push to recognize in a structured way uh, something that could value. Uh, value our role as a supporting specialty. We kind of went off a tangent. I want to go back to the story mm-hmm. that you told me about the parking lot. So how, how will you <laughs> tell that story? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So like I said, uh, my, I wanted to come in out of this like long uh, training uh, path to be in a place where I could do trauma surgery and vascular surgery. Full, full uh, practice in both, both specialties. I looked at very few places in the United States that I could potentially do it. So my options were very limited about, uh, regarding place I could go. 